The Forest Detective, case number three. Deep in the forest, there is a house made out of branches. But what sets this house apart is the piles of objects in front of it. And then... Ah! My camera! My question is... Who collected all of these items? Thank goodness, I've been looking everywhere for my camera. See, Molly? I told you I didn't take your camera. Then, does this mean that the owner of the house took it? Hmm. I smell something fishy. Forest detectives, move out! Suspicion! Help. The owner of this house must have stolen my camera! Does that mean he stole everything else here as well? Oh. Judging from all these random objects piled together here, it does seem suspicious. <laughs> we have to catch the thief! Oh. He does have quite the collection. This was definitely done by an animal that likes to collect things. An animal that likes to collect? Oh. Ah, I know who it is! Let's go get him! Mm -hmm. oh, oh. I'll teach him a lesson! <laughs> uh, where are you going? If we wait, he'll probably come home soon. Oh, brother. <laughs> he ho! He ho! He ho! Look! They've stolen a whole bunch of stuff! Ha! Huh, fess up! Are you guys thieves? Of course not! We got these things through hard work! That's right! Through hard work! Do you guys live in the house made out of branches Whoa. deep in the forest? No! We live underground! That's right! Underground! Oh dear! I guess the ants aren't the culprits! How dare you accuse us! We'll teach you... a Attack! I think we've lost them. That's why you shouldn't accuse someone without... Oh, I know who it is. The animal that likes to collect is right hmm. over there. The squirrel? See, look. His mouth is full of stuff. Greedy bugger. Hey, squirrel, you stole my camera. <laughs> Ridiculous! Aren't you busy gathering nuts and berries? Are you planning on taking those acorns to your twig house in the forest? Oh, what are you talking about? My house is in that burrow! <sighs> See? It's not the squirrel either! You shouldn't go around pointing fingers! You deserve a biting! <laughs> <laughs> This is what I get for trusting you guys and jumping to conclusions! This was all Molly's fault! No way! This was all your fault! Apologize! Before we accuse anyone of anything, we need proof first. Let's stake out the house until the owner comes home. Then we can find out once and for all why he collected these objects. And whether or not he stole all of them. Find out once and for all! Do you guys hear that? Oh. It sounds really weird. Huh? The sounds keep on changing. The sounds are coming from inside the house. <laughs> what if this isn't the house of a thief? But a haunted house instead? Thank <laughs> you. 
It's not haunted. It's just a bird. So the bird was making all those strange sounds? In order to trick us, the bird, bird must be, be the thief. thief. A thief? I'm no thief. I'm a bower bird. Apparently, the strange bird was called a bower bird. Fess up. Where did you get all these objects from? They were just lying around, so I collected them. I need them to attract the ladies. Male bowerbirds decorate their houses with colorful objects in order to attract female bowerbirds. Once a male attracts a female, they would mate. And we uncovered more. But why are the objects over here all red? Because I only collect things that are red. Hmm, red, red, where are you? You can't take my nose! Apparently, every bowerbird had different things they liked to collect. This bowerbird likes to collect leaves in particular. And this one likes to collect berries. And they had their own color preferences. Some even collected garbage. Ugh. By the way, where did you buy my camera? Oh, I found it under a tree, so I took it. Under a tree? <laughs> Molly, come and eat! Ah, time to eat? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Case number three. Who collected these items? Through this case, we learned that we shouldn't accuse anyone of something without hard evidence. The bowerbird is still busy collecting objects. And he's still making different sounds to find a mate.